Complex Windows. In this video, I'll show you how to use Windows 2 to create more complex shapes of windows with parapets and frames. I will start with simple combinations. First, enable Windows 2 using wall grid for easier placement, and I will draw first window. This is simple rectangle aluminium window in first layer and uh, if we enable layer 2 we can add second part of the window so let's say here it is aluminium frame and I will change it into aluminium parapet. So this is the quickest way how to create these simple variations of window and parapet window frame or window and any other part of the window and we can easily replicate another windows just by dragging two over the over the wall and uh, even on corners we can enable corner windows so this is a very quick way how to create these simple combinations For next examples, I will disable layer system and we will be using only one layer with a single, a single window object or frame or parapet. So now with this simple aluminium rectangle window, I will create more complex window just by dragging each segment individually. Also, second window. And done. We can add also frame or parapet. Just uh, set window tool into frames library set aluminium parapet and draw over this big window another window with parapet very easy quick way how to create also these complex windows with different custom divisions created by each individual window object as the next example, I'll show you how to create big glass areas passing through the wall corners. So I will switch into aluminium frames and I'll start with this L-shaped aluminium frame from left side using corner mode and from right side here. And when I enable corner mode here, you can see how this works on the, on the wall corner. So this uh, part of the frame is adjusted to this uh, wall corner correctly. And putting missing top frame part, I need to switch to frame top and also using corner mode on both sides finally we have a correct correct frame over this area so now when we have a frame we can put some windows there into this area and switching library into aluminium windows using rectangle window we need to always click into remaining part of the wall so window 2 will recognize this wall from this first click and also same way using corner mode on corners I will put two big windows here And 
again corner mold and last part. Here also corner mold for correct adjustment. Okay, so this was also quick and easy. And uh, last thing on this example, I want to show you how to change this double frame into single frame. So just remove this uh, window and replace it this rectangle window with a C frame, C shape frame window. So when we place C shape frame window, we can easily remove this double frame, uh, double frame part between these two glasses. In last example, I will use all previous methods, starting with uh, window window C shape. I will create. Window with three parts. Last segment will be rectangle shape with corner. So this way we have one big window with three divisions, three parts, without double frames. And on this side I will create two windows and a glass door between them. something like this okay now I will put a uh, frame and carpet on this uh, complex window with doors so switch library into aluminium frames using this uh, L shape here using corners on the corner and also from second side and here you can see I need to I need to move it only until this part and the remaining part I need to use only this top frame using corner and finally we will put some uh, parapets here so switching to parapet also using corner also from this side with corner and finally last window parapet okay done so as you can see, this is like a puzzle or legal system. So if you have created uh, uh, each individual window part, frames, L shape, C shape, all type of shapes, uh, then you can assemble a uh, final, final complex window with parapets, frames and all additional parts.